What's up, y'all? My name is John Palomino. I am the writer and director of the short film, Man of the House, uh, which is based on the day my father committed suicide and, you know, how it affected myself and my family. You know, we're here at Indie Night Film Festival out here in L.A. How did you get the idea to do this? Very emotional, very personal. So, I'm an actor, and um, especially in this industry, you know, you have to be, you have to be a little more versatile. You have to do more than just act. So I wanted to make a film, um, I wanted to write and direct a film that could potentially, you know, start a conversation and just help those that are affected. You know, as we all know, suicide is, is a universal subject that affects a lot of people. So this is your first movie in a short film, so how did you fund this movie for anybody out there who's inspired to make their own film? Yeah, so I am a first time director, first time writer, I'm, to be honest, like, I didn't really have any experience on the post-production side and pre-production side. So what I did was, all the relationships that I've made over these last couple of years as an actor, I, it was more than just a relationship. It became like a friendship. So I met a bunch of uh, DPs, a bunch of people that did sound, um, gaffers, Brett, everyone that like worked in production, I built these relationships with these people so that if the opportunity came where I made my own project, now I know people that work or that are expert, experts in these films. So um, it was really, I mean, you know, with anything, like it takes time to put a project together. But with me, I made sure whoever I met, I, met, I built these relationships with people. And um, I think once they read the script and they saw it, it was about suicide, I think that alone attracted them to the project. I didn't have a budget, like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm broke, I'm broke as shit, like, I just had this story that a lot of people, like, respected, and they just knew, like, this message needs to be told, so, it was, a, it was a lot easier for me, but it was this pain that I've been dealing with for these last 20 years of my life that took me time just to talk about it. So, what would be your number one tip for somebody who wants to make their own film? don't have the budget, but might have maybe some connections or they're actors waiting for big break. So what would be your favorite? Man, don't, don't wait for anybody, man. Create your own content. Like, eventually as an actor, you will book these big gigs, these big budget films or, or TV shows. But don't wait for anybody to present that opportunity to you. I know this film has taken you all over the country. So what's your favorite thing that has happened? since uh, we started promoting this film. Oh man, you know, to be honest, like from the beginning, I never expected any of this was gonna happen. But um, I'm just really appreciative for like every moment, everything that I was like able to experience because I didn't imagine any of this happening. You know, I was just in Miami last week for the Revolt Film Festival. You know, I was man of the house and one of the finalists for best short film. I'm really just grateful for like this whole experience, this whole journey. So you playing your father in a very emotional uh, story and role, and also having a little actor playing yourself. Right. So what kind of prep work did you have to do? I thought I was prepared. I went to set as a as a as a director and as a producer, and I wanted to make sure everyone else was okay. But I wasn't all the way there. I think for me, I thought I was ready to tell his story. I mean, I'm, I, I'll be quick to talk about it, but then to like be my father in this film, it was one of the hardest things I've had to do. And I thought I was prepared, but I wasn't. So what do you have coming up? What's next for you? So I have a documentary that I'm working on right now, you know, because I lost my father at such a young age. My father's Colombian, he's from Colombia. I didn't get a chance, I've never had a chance just to meet his family in Colombia for the first time. His aunts, his uncles, his cousins, just his whole family. So. I went to Colombia last year and I met my family in Colombia for the first time. Really just experienced the culture for the first time. I'll be releasing the trailer for that very soon. And I have some other written projects that I'm working on that I'll be releasing at the top of next year or definitely before like the, the uh, like summer of next year, 2018. What's up y'all, my name is John Palomino. I am from New Rochelle, New York. I am an actor and a new filmmaker. Yo, shout out to blackexcellence.com, straight up.